Hey guys, it's Danielle. So today I'm coming to you with a review on some brushes. These are by Bowbell Beauty um, UK. I got actually sent these, I won them in a giveaway, but I'm just going to tell you a little bit about them. So they come in this case, under it, and if you open it up the right way, the brush is like this, and this bit protects them, and you open them up, and here's the 10 brushes. So this brush, going to the most important thing really first, there's 10 brushes here and on the website you can get them for 19 95 it's just Bow Bell Beauty UK and you can check those out obviously. Lots of other brushes available but these are the ones that I wanted to give away. So it's the traditional sort of kabuki brushes that you find, pretty much everywhere does them now. Um, I have loads myself actually, I've got loads from eBay um, and there's one kind of like this, the buffing brush from Real Techniques. It's kind of like this brush, so it's like the round top kabuki. Except this one, unlike the Real Techniques, it's very, it's a lot more dense. So you can blend a lot easier. So when it comes to foundation, I'm really, really liking this. If I don't use my Morph G6 brush, I'm using this one because I really like it. And. Looking at that, actually, I've just probably the first hair that's ever shed on these so far. Um, I've not noticed any shedding at all until then. Um, but I have washed these sort of four times now, I think, and I've only had them in a few weeks. Um, ignore that bit of hair. Don't know why it's sticking up, but it is. Um, so these ones, they're really sturdy. You've got the sort of wooden handle here, golden feral, very pretty. And you can see their name on it there. Very nice, very sleek, very, they're flexible but they're dense enough that you can use them and it helps blend in foundation flawlessly so I use that one for that. You can probably also use it for sort of cream blushes, bronzers, probably a lot of products really. You could even potentially use it for precise powder products as long as you don't mix with the cream. And then this one is a rounded angled kabuki. So again, use this a lot for foundation. But you can always use it for sort of blush, bronzer, even highlight really. Um, but I love this. It helps more than this brush in a way. It's just getting into the under eye area when I'm putting on my foundation. Um, so you could use this for foundation concealer. Um, if you just want to just put the concealer on the end and use that to dab it in. Um, but again another brush that I'm really liking. So the next brush from them is the Flat Top Kabuki. And again, they're all really dense. These bigger brushes move around really freely, blend the products really flawlessly. I'm really, really enjoying these brushes. As I said, I've had them about three weeks, three, maybe four weeks now, and I've cleaned them sort of four, maybe five times already. So I'm definitely getting a lot of use out of them. I absolutely love them. I would say. I used to absolutely love, 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 love my Real Techniques buffing brush. Then I got the Morph G6 brush, and that really is my holy grail foundation brush. But after I've used those, or even sometimes over that one, because I have two of the G6 brushes, I'll pick these, because I really, really like these. They're really good, they blend well, they don't shed at all, and I really like them. Really? <laughs> So the next brush from there is the Angled flat, flat Top Kabuki. So again, you just go like this, like that. And then the next one. I actually washed some of these last night because they were dirty and I didn't want to show you dirty brushes, so they're a little, still a little bit wet. But this is the sort of pointed, tapered Kabuki one. And I use this one for concealer. So you're getting it under the eye there with that point. I usually dab concealer in rather than sort of spreading it from side to side because it helps keep the product in. And this one's really good for that. You could always potentially use this if you have sort of more than one. You could always use one for concealer and then another one potentially even again for powder products. They're really good with powder as well as the cream liquid products. So another really good one. Then you have the five smaller brushes, the little kabuki ones. So these are sort of the smaller, preciser ones. So again, you have the rounded top one, the rounded angled, 
the flat top, the flat top angled and the tapered one. So I like to use these for a mixture of things. I have a lot of these kind of brushes again, mostly from eBay. Um, I have a couple from Jessup also. So I use these for correctors or concealers under the eyes or getting in these little areas around the nose because I get a lot of redness around here. So I use those for that. I also really like using these for cream eyeshadows. So for cream eyeshadows, I'd usually the taper one to get the product out and place it. And then I'll use a round top or really any of these ones to help blend it out across the eyes. You could also potentially use these brushes again for these more so sort of highlight or even precise contouring for cream products. You could use this one to get it right there and that will work really well. So here's all of the brushes again. And again, the company to get them from is Bow Bell Beauty UK. They're really good. I'm following them on Instagram. Um, and I guess they're probably going to be doing more giveaways in the future. So definitely look out for those because if you can get your hands on these for free, obviously, even better. Um, but I would certainly say they're worth paying the money for, guys. Go check them out. I will leave the link to the website below. So get your hands on them and let me know what you think as well. Because I know you'll enjoy them. Anyway, let me know what you want to see next, guys. Any reviews, any particular videos, any tutorials. And I'll try and get my video shot for you soon. I'll try and do a video at least once a week. Sometimes more if I'm able to. Um, and obviously, I'll always be posting pictures on Instagram. So, thank you again for the 2,000 followers. Congrats to the winners. And I'm sure I'll be doing a giveaway again soon. Take care, guys. Bye.